Okay, everybody, welcome back to Prison Tycoon. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm gonna try some new cheesy tactics, see if they work. I don't know if they will. I've started adding expensive, yeah, there we go, expensive uh, trash cans, the bins, uh, to, directly to the cells, just to see if prisoners will throw things away and we don't have to clean the cells as often. I have no idea if it's going to work, but I just did it. So we'll see after these cells are clean whether that makes a difference. And um, we're gonna compare it actually. So this row has them and this row does not. And we'll see whether or not this row looks very clean and this row looks very dirty. And just to test it out, see what's up. I've added those uh, bins pretty much to every room. This one has a couple because I figured this would be a particularly messy room. And um, I'm gonna start doing the, the expensive ones just because it adds more prestige. That's what it's all about, right? All right, there we go. So, uh, we're good on power, but I'm going to be expanding a little bit today, I think. Kind of depends on money. And uh, so we might be using more power. So I might I might expand the power even more, but we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another bathroom. I'm going to move this window out to the side here. We're going to add one more bathroom over here just because people use them. And uh, I don't want them to have to walk all the way across to go get it. We'll go from the middle of the room because I'm probably going to go this way with the power cord. So it'll just kind of keep going. And uh, we're going to add a bathroom sink to these bathrooms. Uh, as we go, we're going to add more and more of these types of things that I've been missing and not been placing this whole time. So we'll go like this. And I think we'll put a fire extinguisher right outside the door. I have no idea if fires will start, but we have a pyromaniac in here now. There's a chance. So we should probably cater to that chance here. I have a little yucca plant, I think that's what it was. Yep. And uh, we'll go from there. So, hand-washing poster. Ooh, a rather weird but stylish restroom painting. Okay. We'll add something like that, too. Make sure you wash your hands. Whatever, just wash your hands. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with these bathrooms, too. So, we'll just add these posters. We're going to add the sink. And I have no idea if they actually use this stuff, but we'll find out. And then uh, we've got a bin. I'm going to try to make these kind of uniform, so I'm going to move these to the other side. Just because they are in the other room. But you see how dirty everything is? It just never looks clean. Every single model just looks gross all the time. It's It sucks. Did I add plants here yet? Yeah. What was the thing I added on the other side of the door over here? Nothing? Oh. Well, maybe we'll add air freshener, right? Keep the bad smells away. Did we? I thought I did that over here. Did I not do that over here? I could have swore I did that. All right, air freshener in the bathrooms too. All right, there we go. So we spent like 10 grand on sinks and bins and like all our stuff. So uh, on this side, I think I'm gonna have this path go straight down the middle here because I'm pretty locked in on this. I'm not gonna upgrade it anymore. So I'm gonna have this path. New prisoners is here. Guys, I want you to be welcome. You wanna know the funny thing? I actually told the game not to intake prisoners today. Like, cause I I didn't, you know, I, I don't know, like I had a, the cell full and whatever, but I just got somebody released on parole and whatever. In any case, I, I didn't want any prisoners because I didn't want to expand over to here yet. But today it looks like I'm gonna have to if they bring in me anymore, so. We got anger and alcoholism. Let's bring you to your cell to here. And then we'll bring you down to the art room to deal with your alcoholism. Of course, you're not going to do therapy right now because it's not time for it. I could adjust the times, but eh, I'm not going to. Just let them exist. Let them do their thing, you know? Uh, okay, so for over here, we obviously want some cells. So uh, we're going to build... I think a couple of different rooms here. We're going to have to expand. So we're going to take the cells. We're going to go like this and just pop that in there. And we'll do one more cell just to make sure I have capacity for things. I'm going to have to move that just a little bit like so. Okay. And then is there anything else that's going in here? I could place the desks and stuff in the cells. I guess that would add prestige too. We're up to 90,000 experience we need 125,000 to unlock what i think is the final like already the final uh chapter of items or whatever right like 
five seems to be the ultimate, which is interesting, uh, to say the very least. I think that's it's like, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like I got there really quickly, you know? Should we make sure we don't run out of power? Um, this is a game room. Hang on. So the game room right now just has this chessboard and this shelf and all this stuff. I can I can do better than this. So we're gonna add some of these arcade machines, Cosmo Fighters and Infinite Galaxy. It entertains prisoners. Maybe if they're entertained, like you know, it seems like to me this game has a lot of stuff in here that is, and and forgive me for saying so, but uh, maybe too nice to criminals. All right, like this will entertain them. Oh, that's important to me. <laughs> like, I mean, they're in prison. I don't know. Like, is this a service industry here? Or are they, are they just getting a free night stay or two or ten or you know, 158? I don't know. It just seems like we're being too nice to these guys. And I can't even do the threes. You know, it's a stall even. Like it's not a, it's not enough to be in a private room like a full exclusive bathroom with only a single toilet, but you also have a stall to go in it. And when you does when you design it like this, you make it seem like I can have multiples in a room, right? It's not just the toilet. If it was, I mean, if it's just a private room, then I could do that. But I still want them to change it to where prisoners will use their own toilets. But they haven't done that yet. No, no, they probably won't either. Uh, let's take a look really quick at some outdoor decorations we could do. We got 29,000 doll hairs. Honestly, I'm thinking I just go big on the power again. I mean, we're going to need it as we expand anyway. Might as well bank it up big, right? We're not that far up. I could spend it now. You would never want to put these right behind each other, but uh, because this is a game, we, uh, you know, will. We will. It's a video game. You can do that. It doesn't even spin. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Nothing even... It doesn't even move. So lame. You're not even going to have an animation that moves. Ugh. Um... So yeah, we're making lots of medicine, uh, more than we'll ever need. Food is actually not as up as it was because we're taking more prisoners in. And as we expand, of course, we'll need, I guess, just a row of more kitchen, uh, more, more, uh, yeah, more cookers, I guess. Pop into some additional cells on this side. And I worry that my typical prison architect mindset on prison cell design is going to lead to having way more like way more cells than we can even use you know let's put in a teddy bear because I can on the side of the cells here because it's money but it also makes them happier oh yeah not enough money because these are 1200 a piece whoops I didn't check the price beforehand Mm, my bad. Put a drinking fountain in, I guess. And now we're down. No more money. Good. Uh, let's take a look at parole. Uh, you know, I don't like this repayment penalty thing. No, nope. I'm going to deny you. Definitely. Let's get our staff Armando. Uh, I added one more maintenance worker, too, just because I have expanded. And I'm oftentimes my maintenance workers are dealing with these big buildings now, even though barely anyone's using them. Alright, hang on. New prisoner now. This is one of those things where if we're gonna have to either just use these cells or not. I don't know. I'm gonna take this guy out of isolation. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy out of isolation and unassign. So he goes to a random cell. He was assigned this one before, and now he's zoomed over here uh if you uh, try to escape i pop you in isolation my I, my idea behind that is that maybe i mean i don't know what the reason behind the isolation cell is to begin with in this game nobody ever acts up but when they go and uh try to escape i figure that's the time you put them in isolation right so give that a shot uh so we got a new prisoner here this one's going to be assigned to the art therapy for their alcoholism. But for now, you're back in the holding cell anyway. Until I have a place for you that is... 
Ah, screw it. You're more you're more comfortable over here anyway. Let's just let's just do it. Bring you to this cell. All right, good. I mean, it's way over here, but you know, whatever. It's fine. What's your deal? I assigned you here. What the hell? I dropped you in here. That's that's how I that's how I do it. Okay. And you're assigned to this cell. Okay. So now we've got the towers, right? We don't have any we don't have any eyes back here. And there's no way to place a camera outdoors. They don't let you do that. So we're not going to. But also just just as another test, right? I marked these for there's still a bell on them too. I marked these for repair before starting recording. They still had half the cleanliness left on them. Yeah. So we're just going to have to deal with the fact that every day we have to sell desks for 45 and rebuy them for 225 every single day. It's literally it's a daily thing for all of these desks. I'm going to do this preemptively cuz I don't care. There we go. I got taken care of that one. This one was marked a long time ago too. Have to sell this. It's it's a pain in the ass, uh, which is why I'm very close to doing it, and I probably will. In this part, I think I'd do it here if I had more space. But I think I'll probably do it right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a bigger therapy room. Well, I don't have the money for it, but when I get the money for it, I think it might even go over here. I'm gonna make a big therapy room, like way bigger. Like the whole room will probably be this size, and it's gonna be one desk and a bunch of these chairs. We'll have paintings and plants and all sorts of things to decorate it, and make it feel good. But it's gonna be one guy dealing with all this, and then we're just gonna shove every prisoner into therapy in that room. That's that's gonna be how it works. And then I can retrofit this entire building here. We'll just gut all of this and we'll turn them into more cells. And we'll just have more prisoners uh, like that, which again, we're watching with our single guard named Armando, which is located here. He's just taking a break. He deserves a break. Now this is even easier too, because you can run this at max speed. And if a breakout begins to happen, the game will automatically move you to uh, one time speed. So you don't even need the alarms to warn you about it. The game itself will slow down time to real time for you uh, so that you can react to it. it. It literally tells you that way. So nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just say incoming prisoners is fine. Cool. Here we are in July 1986. Almost a year before I was born. And we have a couple of new people we could do for parole. So here we go. We'll just get you. This looks good. See, I'm getting money immediately upon doing this. So I'm I'm not really sure what's up because I get paid this right away. So yeah. And then these two guys are going to... my penalty. I'm going to have a penalty. We'll see if that even goes down. It probably won't because it's happening right at 8 when I get paid for prisoners anyway. So it's just going to pop the money in there. And we're up to 27000 now. So I can run this at three times speed, like I said, and we can, you know, try to build and move things around and all these types of things. And uh, again, if we get to the point where there is uh, a breakout attempt, I'll know it because the game will slow down and it'll go to one time speed. Uh, I've added, or I'm sorry, I'm going to add some of these low exercise bars for people because it's just extra stuff. So I'm going to pop them right down here. We have high bar, medium bar, low bar. Yeah, nice. And then we're going to go with workout equipment here and maybe some weights. I don't know if this is even worth it, man. It might not even be worth it, but we're going to do weights like that and call that good for now. Let's get a new prisoner. His name, I have to click on him. His name is uh, Kente and he is a klepto. Kente the klepto. I like it. Kente the Klepto. Put it right here. Wait. Why did time get... Okay, I can pause it, so it's not it. Uh, this has gone bad again. And when it goes bad, it's immediately told that it cannot be cleaned. Even though the object needs cleaned, it will not be cleaned. It will be sold. So we'll have to sell it. 150. And we'll buy it back for 750. That is the only way to do it. 
No matter how many maintenance staff you have or how trained they are, they will not clean it. And, uh, yep. I'm about to do that, too. Kente the Klepto has no assigned therapy. Right there. There you go. Yeah, I think VR training is going. I think it's gone. I'm not going to do VR. It's too expensive. At least with this, it's just the desks that need replaced. But with this, it's much more expensive. So, probably going to go ahead and do that. So, 39000 almost 40000 bucks. Oh, come on, man. Guys, clean. You have to sell it. it. They won't clean it. Well, let's try it. I know they won't clean this. That's why I sell it anyway. But this one, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Because it says the object will be sold, but whether it will be or not, I don't know. So, let's get uh, another therapy room. And we're going to go with a regular old Divian therapy. And I'm going to have this be... Whoa! Required maximum size is 16. Really? This is as big as I can have it? Aw, oh, you suck. You suck so bad. <laughs> Alright, hang on. So the cells are supposed to be here. Then a walkway. Then a cell. Followed by another cell. Followed by a walkway. And then cells. So... If I do this, if I make it this big, then there's a walkway there, and then cell, cell, wall, which now will become walkway, and then this will be this. So I guess technically it still works. 16 by 16, go. So big old therapy room, 16 by 16. I'll slam the door on this side. It's nice. I wish I could make it bigger, but you know, restrictions, arbitrary restrictions. Put this here. And then we're going to make a bunch of these, okay? We're going to stack these. I don't know why I need so much room. That's weird. They need so much room. Um, we are going to just go as little as possible for now. And then I'm going to go like this. They need so much space. Yep, we're just going to... Place in as many of these as we can. And this is going to be just a giant therapy room that we that we're going to redirect the therapist that is working in the VR lab. We're going to have them work here instead. And then quite literally every single person with a condition that is not, I think, klepto, um, anger, and art. Those three will keep, but this is going i'll make this a new therapy room like this move this guy over here and then this room can switch out to something else i don't know and we'll probably take away we'll probably make these these cells actually we could do three cells here so we might do that instead in any case uh we'll we'll do that for now since i just paid for this we'll get the best use out of it but uh that's what this is going to be we're going to have that therapist come over here for it and that's going to be the way we game that system, you know? So we're making way, way more power now. I love that. And I'm thinking prisoners really like to use this area. We could put another, like another poster here and maybe this figure shelf because it, I don't know, might help them. A duke box. The duke box. Yeah, we can place that over here, I guess. Ooh, that's got a bright neon, doesn't it? Wow. This thing is super bright. Uh, what else? A fire extinguisher. <laughs> Just in case. Never know. You can never be too careful with these guys. Place it right next to that. And I'm going to go and put this here, too. And then maybe some benches. We got 25-8, right? So, outdoor stuff. Let's place some more benches. We'll use the metal benches since... For some reason, they have more prestige. And I'm just going to leave... Actually, I kind of want to extend this to make it a little bit bigger. Will you let me do that? Yeah, just like this. Cool. Slide this over. Slide this over. There we go. Move these over over to the, uh, the end. Or do I need to? Honestly, they don't use this stuff anyway, right? They go to therapy pretty much all of, all the time. They're not really doing much with this. And I can place basketball here, I guess. And I don't know what else to do here. You can't make a building here. It's too small a space. It doesn't let you. 
even if it, it'd be really cool if I could just make like a eight by eight thing here and then, you know, have another office or have a sh shower. I, I don't know, have anything. But. A bus of new prisoners has just arrived. You have enough. I don't think it will be the last. You have enough prisoners to where I think another shower would be a good idea. And uh, let's take a look at the, the cells. They do appear to be using the garbage bins. At least it looks like there's stuff in the garbage bins. So maybe it's helping, but like the cells are already just super cruddy all the time anyway. I don't really think it does anything. I tried. I spent a lot of money to try. Sociopath, that's going to be something we want to take care of in here. And also assign you to a cell. Yep. There you go. And then you can, you know, do whatever. But you're assigned to both now. So we'll, we'll try to deal with it as best as we can. When this thing goes bad again, instead of buying it, I'm going to scrap the whole room. And uh, maybe I'll make another klepto room instead. Because sometimes we get multiple kleptos. This one's rehabilitated. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of building I can do right now. So... When I, when I can't do any building or when I don't know what I want to do for building, I come over to my staff tab. I hit Armando. And I set under the camera and I just go like this. And I think I just let this go. We could spend it on more territory. But what do we need it for? We have this giant buildings right here. The only thing I can do is build cells. That's kind of it, right? You just build more cells. Uh, that would be the wrong place for that door. Yep. A bus of new prisoners has just arrived. You're going to need it. Cells, I mean. Especially if the game ever gives me more than one prisoner at a time. Ever. Which, I don't know, man. Hold on. So we have a pyro, a really serious pyro, and sociopath. Okay, sociopath. Pop you in here. And also, you have a new cell here. Congratulations. Now, the pyro and stuff. I do want to see these different labs, right? I, I don't think... I don't know if the therapies are, are worth it. But I do want to see these other labs. So I think what I'll do is we'll take, we'll take a look at it, all right? Let's take tabletop games. Just enough to where we can actually see what they're like, okay? So it looks like I could... Actually, I could swap swap this for, for that, you know? Because I don't, I don't want that anymore. I could do it over here, too, though. Yeah, why don't we just do it here? Because it's... They're 8x8, eight eight, it's big enough. We could, do, we could do it here. So we'll take this, get a therapy desk, and then we just do board games. To treat Look at how much space that requires. Like, are you kidding me? Why? Guys, why? Please, someone tell me why. It's, it's, it's got to be just like a, a balancing thing, right? Like, um, you know, for balance reasons, we can't have you jamming that many in there, even though you let me do it with the easels just fine. Arguably, the easel should take more space because you have that arm movement. And you're standing up and, I don't know, put a poster there. And then we want another room. And this time, we're going to get the... I think I want to treat Pyro, honestly. Polygraph? This is for liars. Sensory deprivation is for the kleptos. Uh, gardening therapy for the... <laughs> there it is. Gardening therapy. That's what we want. Gardening all right, what do we do here? See, now this is a respectable amount of room. Why can't everything need this much room? Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I just paid for it, didn't I? Sure did. Uh, okay, well. There's really not an easy way to save money no matter what direction. Why couldn't I do it this direction? Whatever, here. Guess. And we'll have beautiful flowers. Yep. What else can we do? How about the uh, bush pot? I guess. And 
Not afraid of heights. Maintain. Okay, this isn't treat it. Banzai. Oh, yes. There you go. All right, we'll see how that works. And then we have scarecrows. It really scares crows. A spooky scarecrow. It really scares crows and people. Okay. Oh, don't tell me I have to put it. Oh, wow. You have to put it in here. What a weird spot for that. Let's have a uh, filing cabinet, I guess. We'll put that here. And then we want, of course, the uh, trash bins too. There and there. Really? That is fully available space there, dude. Here we go. Not Oh, it's not enough money. That makes sense, actually. Because <laughs> I spent a ton. Stuff's expensive. All right. So we got a couple more therapy rooms. Uh, I think we'll probably hire another therapist, but we're going to scrap this one. So I think that'll make up for it. Then I think everybody who's assigned to this room, I'm going to shift them and be over here instead. And then we'll get scrap this room right now. Well, once the desk is done, which it's work, we're working on it. And actually, I probably shouldn't have purchased any of this stuff yet since all of this is going to need cleaned even though it's never been used and nobody's been in here. But this desk especially is going to need replaced anyway, so I shouldn't have bought that yet. Oh, well. Let's uh, click the staff tab. Click Armando so we can highlight him and know where he is. We'll just zoom time ahead. Oh, here he goes. He's escaping. Let's see where he goes. I've got Armando in my hand. And he's probably about here. No. Yep. Yeah, okay. There he is. It's just so dumb. Like, t guys, tell me that's not dumb. Tell me that entire system. Tell me that this entire escape system is not the laziest thing you've ever seen. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. I think I gotta wait. You guys. I think I gotta wait. I, I want to wait to play this. I want to wait until it's until it's good. That's the only way I can say it. I want to wait until the game is good, because I don't think it is right now. I don't think it's ready. Um, it's it's just got so much potential, and I just I don't know. It's just I'm not feeling it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Um, I, I look forward to reading your comments. But I think uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I mean, what what else is there to do? Make more cells, get more prisoners, expand existing rooms. Um, wait for someone to escape with your single guard and then, you know, just move your guard on top of them, stop the escape, move them to isolation, let it go to the next day, get paid a boatload of cash, get penalized for things that you had no way of knowing would happen. And then you just rinse and repeat, right? I mean, that's, that's how this goes. I think that's going to be how this goes. We're going to concede there, concede there. Yep. Yeah, and then, like, generator's not getting fixed. Now it has to be sold. At least that's what it says. I don't know. I'm going to leave it here, though. Thank you guys for uh, for adhering to enduring this with me. Uh, I do appreciate it. If you like it, um, you know what to do. I'm going to actually save these other therapies. Uh, we're not going to see exactly what they look like, like the Tesla therapy and things. I'm going to save those uh, so that I can experience them fresh the first time later on when this game is done okay I'm gonna, we're gonna we're gonna wait for this to be done i'm not done with this game but it, i'm done with it now but i'm not done with it forever okay so i'm gonna keep my eye on it and when i come back to this when you see this game appear on my channel again it's because i'm sure it's ready to be played all right there you go take it easy everybody we'll see ya bye bye